the day to day the shit change But you know for the most part nothing ain't different Sometimes be stuck in my ways weekend Set up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand I'm chillin' with the trips in my few cans down So I walk like Winston Trust me I wake up hanging You think that I'm leaving this bed you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No I'm sticking on right at these guys We're back We're back again In the lab Mate, crossers Fast cars <laughs> Don't come in my ass try to act hard <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Mate that is the hardest thing possible to be fair if you even consider coming in my ass, you'll get scalped a bit. Don't you fucking dare. Try act hard. <laughs> do you think you're hard coming <laughs> in my fucking ass? <laughs> you fucking clown. That's a twit second time this week, fuck's sake. Mate, coming in the ass is dreadful. That's like the main... I'm not speaking for experience, I'm just saying the, the, the thought of coming your ass. Coming a guy's ass. <laughs> even, a, even like coming in a, a female's ass. Oh, I that's, just, that's ungodly. Mate, eight, eight and eight, I just stay away for the ass. I aye, think aye. ass isn't for. I don't think dicks should be an arses. But I love, I love, I, I like bottoms. I like, do you know what I mean? Like I'm not. Oh, I about, love the bottom. Aye, the the bunda. the surrounding bunda. I love bundas. But then the mad organ. I don't want to end today, way. That's got a mad function. There's two holes down there, and I know what one's the better of the two. Three, mate. Do you know? I didn't even see where it see like when I was a wee guy. I thought like. That was just oh, like, cause they, aye, they, they've got the a piss, on, aye. But I, thought, I only learned that about <laughs> genuinely about a month ago. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, mate. Aye. Did aye. You, Jen got all just get mixed up? I just thought, aye. aye but be, then if you imagine piss coming out of that hole, you're like off the bed. It would be a, that would be a breeding a, ground. A for sausage it. up a close, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be like infect, infections in that. Aye. Pissing out a mad thing like that. But you couldn't. Eat. I'm talking about possible places to be shoving your dick. Can, aye. What? Like you go in and go, oh fuck, I put it in your piss hole there. I mean, no, I mean, that I, wouldn't happen. I think that is like, that could be, that could be a thing that happened. I'm sure I've heard stories about that. Get it in the piss Try to force it in the piss hole, bro. <laughs> no, Frank, <hold. laughs> you've just but, shoved it right up my piss hole. Mate, I thought when I was a young lad, when I was a young boy, I thought, I'm just mindful my gran was, my gran texted me the day like that. Oh, I was listening to your podcast, Funeral Crashers, and was telling me bits she liked in it and all that, and they knew every pod I started, but, oh, fuck. I hate that, mate. That's scary. M- Megan's uh, nana was like, oh, what's about Evan's podcast? It was an off Korea one, but so I was safe. So it was quite and informative. She, she was that? like, it smells so hot, didn't it? <laughs> That's what she said, eh? Like, fuck up. Morgan's. <laughs> 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 fuck up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nah, um, I love her. No, but... What were we saying? We are saying something about arses, pishels, right? So I thought when I was a young lad that, like, Lassie's lady parts were, like, the same place, like, a willy is, like, on the Aye. front, you know what I mean? So, like, when <laughs> I was, like, actual, like, for the first time getting down there, I was like, fuck's that weird in there? For? Well, why am I going away weird in there? A hundred percent. That's actually ages away from where I thought it was meant to be. Does, can I, because you've got any perception of, like, where... You're like, it will be in the seat. That's just where the genitals are. Aye, that's... Like, fucking hell, it reach, reach <laughs> right room, you know? And then they get a taxi. <laughs> 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 you got to spray my fucking shoulder here. I hope to get my jump for whatever oh, it was. Fuck that. <laughs> no, but coming in the ass, I just... That is dominant, though. Aye, mate, I, that's, that's like... Because I've actually got some... I've got some gay friends. And I remember we were talking about this kind of thing. Do they come in the ass? Aye, mate, they fucking love it, mate. That's like what their full thing is. That's their Coming in shang- arses is like their favourite thing they shang- la They love it, mate. It's their nirvana. But, but I'm talking about, I mean... But then this boy this boy said to me, he was like, mate, it's the manliest thing you can do. He's it like is. shagging a guy up the arse. Manliest no, thing ever. <laughs> he shags mad straight guys up the arse and that, mate. That's the hardest thing ever. That, mate, that's what I mean. He's a fucking, he's an alpha male. Oh that is guy. the most alpha thing ever, shagging, uh, as a gay man, shagging a straight guy up a there. A married guy. Take it, a fucking dick. <laughs> Wait, imagine, a married guy. Imagine, right, <laughs> uh, and imagine, this isn't it, like, imagine in another universe, whatever, right, you're married, you're happy, you're whatever else, you're in a night out, right, you're up fucking Wonderbar, you're a bit drunk and you're fucking taught about it. I've been there. Italian guy comes up to you, talking away, you're dancing, having a good time. <laughs> He's just chatting away, he buys you a drink. Oh, yeah, this fucking guy's car. One thing leads to another. You're back in the Premier Inn, <laughs> getting shagged up the arse by this Italian guy. Next day, you're waking up, mate, what's going through your head? Did he come in my arse last night? <laughs> Better not have come to my arse. Imagine going for a shite and being like, oh, mate, imagine, up, like, mate, see, imagine the actual, like, what did I do that for? 
a guy shagged my ass last night, man. Like, <laughs> I'm not even meant to oh. Like, that shouldn't be something that happens to a guy that's married in that. That one, that as well, when I come down, like, imagine you're a full of ecky, you're like, fuck it. It may be a bit. Fuck, <laughs> fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'll do whatever. <laughs> oh, fucking free, free love, man. I fucking love all you. Tom Imagine. Hardy shagged that guy. Fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Tom Hardy. Can, bro, <laughs> if Bronson can do it, <laughs> Bronson done it, I'll take it. Just live your life for that. If Bronson done it, I'll do it. That's all right. If nothing can be called gay if Bronson's done it. No, it's a straight individual. No, it's straight as fucking hell, mate. Who do you think the straightest guy in here is? Do you think Joseph's Joseph earlier? I'm looking at Joseph in a middle of the Hello, Joseph. Do you want to announce Joseph yourself? Joseph is straight gayer by the second. Aye, listen to this chat. <laughs> are you enjoying it? What about you and the Italian guy? What are you saying to him? Italian? You you go out in a night out. Uh-huh. Guy gets you back to a hotel, shags your ass hard. Then what did they do? The next stop day. Be happening first. No, like you're, enjoy- <laughs> you're steaming in that. The next day you wake up, what's going through your head? Probably major themes of regret. <laughs> and, <laughs> regret but it's no, like, it's no homophobic or anything. It's just kind of like sexual. I obviously it's just a bit no one of sex. Oh, wet, my dude. But you're like, ah, I can't even like disagree with this in case I'm homophobic. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Imagine that like, you end up just shagging a guy out of fear of being homophobic. <laughs> like, like, I um, can't come across being homophobic. I'll just, I, you I'll just kiss him. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kiss him. I'll kiss him. See what happens. Yeah, I think that's maybe how. That's maybe how a lot of gay encounters happen. Mate, you know what the gays took? The rainbow. I was looking at a rainbow the other day. And dude, I was thinking how mad, like, I was driving, I seen a big belt of a rainbow, and I was like, wait, like, how nuts is it that it just, see if you had to say, like, explain to somebody that rainbows were there hanging, and you're like, aye, ah, so it'll be pure sun, no, it'll be pure raining, and then it'll be sunny, and then, see if you look at the sky, there'll be a perfect formation of, like, seven colours. <laughs> the primary colours of the universe. Aye, and it's like... <laughs> How? Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? Aye. It's but like that's it, what is light refraction on it? It's like light hitting after rain. Roy G. Biv. Is that, is that what the RGB, mate? Could, uh, fine. Now. It could be, but Roy G. Biv's the colours are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Indigo? When, how the fuck? Indigo sneak in there. Indi- it's like one indigo of the finds ma- a way. The most seven it's like, ways, like, it's like that Italian guy, mate. <laughs> gets his way. Uh, indigo. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, Italian guy, violet. <laughs> violet. They always sneak in there. Indigo mate. sneaking into like a violet to some extent and all, but they two colours sneaking into the pure most like famous colours in the world, the rainbow colours. That's thing. like your two pals, you're like, ah, like you're like, can I bring five of my pals to this gaff? And they're like, aye, and there's two other ones. I like, just fucking got I the- just get in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they wanted violet and indigo here. Nah, man. Would you bring indigo for bro? <laughs> it's aye. a fucking pain in the arts. Nah, it's fucking outrageous, mate. But aye, it's a magical thing. But then why And what happened before, like we knew about all this shit, like um, Imagine being a mad, imagine being a fucking, we're going to be talking about some of these characters, th- these humans. Some other exi- worldly guys. Some, what, what's this? Who's the other, other worldly guys? The Just, jump, the jump in people. Aye. aye. Is that what I right know? Oh, there's I was some me- crazy characters I was coming meaning, up. sorry, we are going to do a podcast soon where we look into like, um, we've done an anthropology podcast in the past and imagine being one of these like homo erectus or something and you see a rainbow. Be like, ah, that's just, uh, that's not mean. That would blow your mind, mate. Oh, fuck. Nay, when all like mad tribal cunts go into pure sun god worship and all that. There's nothing else. You can't watch the telly or that. That's I, the only I, thing you can look at. But I pff, wonder what will happen today. And then a <laughs> rainbow comes, you're like, fucking what? hell. Look, thank you. Aye, thank either you, that or sun. an arsehole. Look at an arsehole. Aye. An arsehole. You could stare at an arsehole. That was a callback to earlier. You could come in an arse. <laughs> That's you could you come could in an arse. Try to act all hard in that. There'd be plenty of that back in the day, mate. Yeah, get out of for <laughs> coming in my arse and that. <laughs> try act all the way. Mate, no, I was thinking of, obviously, we've got a great leader behind us here. Um, the supreme leader. Very dear to our hearts. And I was thinking, I was thinking all night, I was like, ah, obviously they go hard with the propaganda. Mm-hmm. Posters. Yep. Things like that. Say we wanted to really go for the propaganda. Like, say we started put making posters of us, like, like that, where, like, mm-hmm. and started putting them all over Glasgow. Aye. How far could we go until the police were like, ah, we need to actual, like, like, this has gone too far. Because if we were, like, we know this is, like, because we could have, just, for example, we know CNN and Police Scotland or whatever, listen, we could have posters where, like, Ballistic missiles on them, mm-hmm. where our, our faces, as you say, standing up proud uh-huh. in front of that missile. We just 
listen to a podcast on a Sunday, like, Aye. like just like because so they can't do it. No, I mean it's like no, it's just promotion for a podcast. Like, there's no. Or are you meaning go for the political power? But imagine we started doing like speeches and that, <laughs> and like feel like getting, but like they would reach a point where like somebody would need to intervene for the government and be like, yeah, this is getting out of control. I here. think this happens throughout like all history and that. I'm sure mm-hmm. that's like Manson and that. No, I mean, aye. that's what they were up to. That's us. They that's started murdering people. I think that's when they were like, ah, right. Aye, so they let it go on until the murdering started. So we could go all the way till just about, we're about to murder and then just be like, nah. Mate, do you, obviously we done Manson on a deep fried. I don't think that's in YouTube. I think that's only on Patreon. Oh, is it? Uh, I think, I think so anyway. And where would you find that? Patreon? Oh, that daft Patreon thing. I think you'd find it at patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Riley. You want to see that? But, mate, Manson, they definitely fucking hanged Manson. That was a setup by the government. MK them, mate. He didn't. He just stole out of jail one day. He was like, I'm going to recruit a bunch of people. We're going to murder people and that. That was to turn... That was to turn everybody against the hippies Aye. and, like, f- free love and that. Aye. That was, like... They found the most, like... And um, drugs as well. They found the most, like, the hippie that would fly off the handle mm-hmm. the easiest. Mm-hmm. And then was there no... Because I'm sure it's actual, like, fact that a mad CIA guy went to the prison and had meetings with him in that jo- i think it was jolly west what's that is that a mad jolly MK west guy? was a like a eh, psychiatrist guy but that was during the the when they when the american government well the cia were trying to uh they were tr- they were and obviously it was a cold war so they were trying to beat russia and a like ma- who could master mind control because uh, with like espionage and that if they caught a soviet guy soldier whatever in America, obviously they're not going to gear up secrets about the Soviets, so they wanted to find something that would make them sort of lose their inhibitions, uh, to quote uh, Natasha Bedenfield. The Italian guy. <laughs> <laughs> they bring the Italian guy. He's like, hello. Hello there. Hello. He's like, hey, I, we're fucking doing this. <laughs> no, but so they were trying to find a way that they could make you just... Your mind to, malleable. I, make make your mind malleable, and um, that's what they were trying to do with LSD. So uh, Operation, what was it, Operation Paperclip or something? No, that it that's was uh, MK Ultra. Was it no? Was it no? So- Paperclip was. Some, can't some, remember what paper. Some other bullshit. Some other yeah, fucking right. foreign muck. Mate, it's mad. Like, see when you think about, see, see, they're mad. Because I've been listening to that mind up because telling you about that guns, germs, and steel. That slightly talks about it a wee bit, and then some other stuff. Been listening to like while I'm falling asleep and. It's mad that like, see, there was, oh, actually there was a big, there was a good thing about Cuba, which I'm going to actually, it was about Fidel Castro and about how, like, all the, all the kind of, obviously he was a bit of a bad guy, but then it shows how he held strength and kept that to be a sovereign nation through the CIA trying to like install puppet governments <coughs> and that there. So that was his to be like, we need to fight. We're like, trying to do this. We might be being bad to these countries, but Aye. we're keeping this place as ours and it's not going to be like Venezuela and that and uh-huh. the, the way they had done other like, stuff. Like this guy, but <laughs> he just makes up total lies about Aye. it, but, but they were really doing that to it's, him. I think it's class that like, the dear leader, obviously how great he is and that, he knows his boundaries. Like he doesn't he try and colonize anywhere. No. Like he's no like, we need to take us on the road. Mm-hmm. This North Korea thing, this is so good here. We need to go and, do you know what I mean? Like, I take us on the road. I, <laughs> like, like Che Guevara, the only reason he actually got assassinated was because he went down to Bolivia, mm-hmm. tried to start a revolution, and <laughs> he got met with mad guys on boats that had like Hawaiian shirts on and like mad dolly birds and that. And they were all like, come down here to do a revolution. No, and he's like, no, he's need to be mad politicians and that. Like, these are <laughs> just mad like drug cartel cunts that try to do it. But then, End up getting shot. Tonight. He was trying to spread the revolution. That's what. Can he spread it? That's what revolutionaries are all about. Maintain the dictate. This guy's got it on lock. The Hermit Kingdom. <laughs> Kim Jong Un got it on lockdown, mate. He's, he knows what he's doing, mate. He's fucking living rent free in my head at the moment, mate. We're obsessed. But he, he knows how to do it. He but does, mate. I, I think we're here to talk about some. We asked the lovely viewers for some scheme, scheme legends. There's always a characters that. People knew about growing up that had a mad name and oh, I used to do Aye. this, used to do that. And you were telling me about one before we go into them. Do you remember the one you were telling me about, the jump in guy? Aye, so just before we go into the, the stories, Craig Donnelly, for a shout out, he uh-huh. was actually suggested that he's, I'm sure there's mad stories, and then we put it up and there was actual hunters. We got literally a, probably a, about 100 or something messages Aye. about Aye. this. Easily. <laughs> it was mad, mate. It just Aye. kept going. So I think one of the this probably be part one. But I, the, the one, when Craig messaged me that, the one that popped into my head straight away was, it was just that, this boy Danny, bleep back, 
this boy used to make this guy, he was a junkie doing spring run, right? And he used to go to the park gate shops and he used to see him. And he always used to go in, he, he always used to go in for a jump in for this boy and his pals. I didn't associate, I don't, I'm not associating with this stuff because he was very mean to the lad. So he used to always <laughs> give him like a score. But then the boozies would all add up to like 1750 or something. Right. So you know how usually it'd be like as customary. Uh, Obviously, we'll probably get the handling be a, charge. Mate, you need a service charge. Uh, you know what I mean? Soon you're a junkie, jump in a show. It's a high risk. <laughs> no, really, for a junkie, right? and there's no much to lose for I the junkie. He, but he, smugglers charges, mate. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he can be. So it's always usually customary. There's a wee two quid you take out or get yourself something or whatever else. But he used to make this cunt dance and he used to say to him, like, you're no leave, or I'll chase you. And like I'll stop you for leaving here until you dance for that two fifty. But that cunt was like, <laughs> that cunt was like always hoarding the change, and he was like, and it got got to give it back, and the cunt would go, how hey, you know what to keep it? And he's like, ah, you know what you need to do? And he would just be like, ah, and he'd be like, all right, see you later. Just pure fuck it. Mate. That's hardcore. That mate. is major. But isn't it mad because a lot of these stories and a story that I'll tell on Patreon, which I told. Mind we done an episode in the caravan, yeah. like like for like half an hour. Aye. I told a story about a boy that but that was wanting to fight with me. Why so many people want to bar me? Mate? <laughs> like, every story that's like, I just can't want to bar me. <laughs> I'm a chill guy, but uh, I'll talk about it on Patreon because we definitely can't put it on YouTube. Right. But um, there is always these mad mythical characters, mate. There was a guy, there was a boy down our way uh, called Chappy, but he went he went to Trinity, right? But he was like one of these bams who was like. He would always be in a bike, like always pure, like, like one hand on his balls. And there was a rumour that he could, so Catkin and Trinity are like far away from each other. They're the two closest high schools to each other probably, but they're, they're like, Aye. I'd say about, a f if you had to walk from there to Trinity, probably a bit easier half an hour walk, right? right? Okay. And there was a rumour that he could throw a glass bottle for Trinity and hit, <laughs> hit Kafkin, mate, he was pure. It was, it was like a well-known, like, Chappie could hit fucking anything. Like, no, no, like, he could throw, like, fuck. That's like the most easily disproved thing ever. Like, go in. Well, Nate ever proved them wrong. Because everybody, is he the type of guy, is Chappie the type of guy that everybody would just believe he can do shit like that? Chappie was myth. it's like <laughs> mythical, like pure. If you had to tell me you could do that, I'd be like, ah, no chance, Jamie. Mm. But if chat, if somebody's like that, Mate, Chappie hit fucking Kafkin for Trinity with a glass bottle. You'd be like, ah, nah, I can see that. Aye, he's not a mere mortal. <laughs> like us, no, mate, mate chaffee has got mad mythical properties, mate. Aye. Aye, he's a, he's a legend. But um, I'll tell my main story on Patreon right. so I don't get the jail. Um, but what, what you're saying, like, about making people dance, not like, <laughs> see, now that we're reading these, and mm. uh, with my story as well, it's like, no, you're like, aye, it was terrible, mate. But see, back in the day, it was like, that was like a laugh. Aye, that like, was, that was how you had a laugh, like, being horrible to people. Like, the standard was, aye, aye, treating it was, people badly. I it was like a laugh. Like, I remember, I think I've told you, but I remember getting in high school, like, maybe fourth year or something, there was this boy, there was this boy called Alexander, right? Just your classic, just mad kind of weird guy in mm -hmm. high school. But... I can't remember his surname, but we used to call him Hleb. Remember Alexander Hleb that played for <laughs> Arsenal? <laughs> right? Right? So we'd call him Elsmad Hleb. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a pure good pronunciation. Uh, I, Hleb. 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 Elsmad Hleb. <laughs> and we used to go up to him, but I was happening, Hleb. But we just like, <laughs> but we used to pure like, we loved, like deep down, we pure loved him. But we were like, because he was just a mad funny character. But we, I get pulled in one day, like my English teacher who pure liked me at the time as well. And he was like, ah. Just so disappointed in, in you, Evan. And I was like, what? And he's like, Get, been getting complaints. You've been uh, bullying young Alexander. And I was like, who hit? Chleb? <laughs> my my, my, my <laughs> ugly, stupid chleb. I've never been. <laughs> no, but I was like, ah. no, we just, because I swear to God, in my mind, I was like, ah, we're just trying to like include him. And, like, and he was like, ah, as if like, shut the fuck up. You're clearly no. But he was like, you're bullying him. But in my head, I was like, I'm having a laugh with him. Mate, but then see, looking back, aye. being him in that situation, like these two boys running up to him, like, ah, <laughs> obviously you're like, what the fuck's going oh, on? Also quite a pussy old move though. See when like- Snitch. You I should have slashed him, mate. You run with the wolves, mate. Oh, he's getting chopped now. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but he's getting chopped now. He disappointed? Well, you're going to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> mate, how- You see just that... go him slashed, <laughs> mister. <laughs> see that mad- talk for a teacher like i had a mad i had my art teacher was pure like that like he used to sit and be like you're a fucking you're a good boy you know and it's just and it used to me i get choked up and all that see when somebody tells me i'm a good boy <laughs> rubbing just, your feet. Like, <laughs> you know, just 
gone down the wrong path and all that, mate. So I was seeing it's a supportive chat from a mad random, like a, a random guy, essentially. Aye. What a weird guy. Mm -hmm. Being pure. I don't know, is that nice? Was he touching your ass? I was being very... <laughs> <laughs> you're a good boy, aren't you, You're Jamie? a great boy, by the way. <laughs> You've just been going down the wrong path. <laughs> uh, anybody ever came in your ass? It was a very Catholic school, to be fair. It was one of the most Catholic schools in, in, on earth, I would all say. All saints? Aye. It is, it is all saints, mate. Nobody in there was a saint, mate. <laughs> for what, for what I've all sinners, bro. <laughs> well, we better move on to the story strip. So, as I say, we've got literally about 100. So... We'll just get through as many as we can get through. We'll save some naughty ones for Patreon, maybe. Mm. Um, and I will probably do a part two of this because there's just so many. Like, there's some I've not even opened. Aye. So that just shows how many mm. we actually got. But this one is very in line with what we've been talking about, right? So I'm going to leave them all anonymous because most people were like, please keep this anonymous in case it's all about my nutters. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't want them to come stayed in the road. Aye, aye. <laughs> so getting a jump in one day, doing that soupy. Do you know what that is? Soupy, no. Don't know, it must be a mad area. Aye. Getting a jump in one day, doing that soupy. The cunt that went in for it says, here boys, if you ever get a bird girl to let your asshole banging boys, I'm not even lying. Fucking hell. Drop knowledge. Fair dues. Mate. He's departing wisdom on the youngins. <laughs> have you have you ever had that? No comment. No comment. No comment all the way, officer. But I tell you what, he's no lie. He's no right. <laughs> <laughs> tell you something, boy knows you talk about. He's no talk shit. <laughs> Aye, but that's a that's a crazy thing to be like, no, I'll get these young boys a jump in. He's probably like, ah, no what? I can remember I was done there one day, wanting a jump in, <laughs> wondering, should I get a bird to let my ass? <laughs> so I'll tell these wee guys. Do you think he's been his full life looking out for that, needing that fucking... Because you can get that sensation for other ways, mate, and I'm going to depart a bit of wisdom on the youth here than now. You ever, you ever get a, a public pool? <laughs> See the wee suckers on the side? Get your ass up to one of them, by Wait, the way. Bare ass? No, no bare ass, mate. I'm not an animal. That would be nice, but I'd be Aye, super suction, bro. Bare ass might be... Bare ass in the jacuzzi, much. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just getting bollock naked in a public swimming pool. Mate, imagine. What is this guy? What's come through this country? Boys. What? <laughs> Boys, before you go, <laughs> come here. There's one thing. <laughs> one thing. But I never see you again. How do you even, like, I wouldn't even know how to fucking request that to a female, mate. I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even want somebody to have to go through that. Would you? I. No, no I mean? No, I, I do get that. I think it's got to be... I think you can I think it's no something that you can request. It's no something you can't even like that for my birthday and that. <laughs> <laughs> is, it so you, is it something you can turn down? Oh, me imagine turning it down. You're, that. Allowed, you're allowed to turn. Look, look, you're allowed to turn the eating down in Aye. the bedroom, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> Joe, you're there. You're allowed to turn that down. Are you, are you allowed to no date? It? Is it homophobic for the idea? It would be mad, but Aye. if like a lassie was like, "Can I like lick your ass?" and you're like, "No." But at the same time, like how no. much false shame to that woman being Aye. like no. denied it, mate? No, you need to let it happen. Do you? Oh, man, I'd need, Either that, you're doing the sucker with, you, with your arse. <laughs> I need three to five business days to get it prepped, bro. Can I think about it? Can I, can I like, <laughs> get all my affairs in order? Talk to my family now. <laughs> <laughs> Just see if it's grown here. What if I love it? No, I mean, what, what if it's the best thing it's ever happened? What do I do with myself after that? I'm the type of guy, if I love something, mate, it's no, it happens. To then on, I can't have something that I absolutely then, love and then just be like, right, hey, that was good. Know what I mean? When you love something, you set it free. When so you I love something, I could. Have, oh, well, that's true as well. But when I love something, I like keep my hood it. Know what I mean? I, <laughs> I like stuff. See if I love something, I like it. I'm, I mean, I learned how oh, you to make like something. The, you first, love it? the first pasta I ever learned to make was chicken and chorizo pasta with cream in it. Still make it to this day, mate. I love it. You've mastered the recipe? I've, I've mastered the recipe, and of course, mate. There's been a few twists and turns in the recipe right. book, but they three ingredients stay the same, chicken, chorizo, and cream. Double cream? Double cream always, mate. But Philadelphia light sometimes mixed mm -hmm. in goes quite nice, which, do you know what I mean? Thicken the sauce oh, up a yeah, bit. For the next day, isn't that? Oh, oh aye. Pasta the next day. Always I mean, better than a uh, day pasta. And, and that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ch Charlie and Lizaya, no, always better than a day. Freezing cold at the freezer. Like, oh, look, it's just a taste to stock on the <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's like I have that conversation with my ma. Like every, every single day we've done. See, that curry was actually better the next day. <laughs> it was actually, and it's as if it's all soaked into the chicken. She's like, overnight, all the flavours have just 
Done that. We should all just start cooking the night before. What we've got here. <laughs> start day in advance. <laughs> See you when that put out day before. Yeah, full day get the you must get cunts like that mad psychopaths, mate. Cooking their dinners a day in advance because they taste better. Aye. It's all so I've realised I'm such a, a, a like see we when I when I first met Megan and we were like cooking the girl and that like I remember I'm so I've realised I'm such a walloper when it comes <laughs> to food, mate. Like really um like walk making something. It was like a mad recipe and you needed garlic, right? And I was I went and I was like, oh you got garlic? And she was like no, but I've got that lazy garlic. And I was like, <laughs> but I was like, all right, all right I'll use that. And she was like, I was, in my head, I was like, it's not the same. Mate, it's la- not. Lazy garlic's excellent. See any of it, see lazy chili, I know. I swear by that shit, bro. Get out, mate. No, you don't like it? You might, Do you as, well, think- might as well be eating rustler burgers and all exactly, that. Exactly, you know I mean? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> that is like the, the, the sort of herb, ve- vegetable, spice sort of version of a Russell burger. I, I, I'm garlic. not into the purees, but see when somebody's like, I've got that wee tube of puree. It's been in there for six weeks now. I'm not cooking with that shit. No. But the, the wee jars, I'm no, I'm no opposed to. Uh, I stand with Megan in this matter. Uh, you I use just, the easy garlic, mate. No, you need the clothes. You need from the sauce, mate. Like, need- mate, I went through, this was my worst period, right? So at the same time, I was watching Master Chef, right? So I would come down and get, like I was in my mom and dad's and I'd come down. I'd come down for dinner and I'd be like, a bit of pasta and I'd taste like I'm watching people pure foraging for berries mm-hmm. and that and making a sauce with it and shit and I'll come down the stairs and it's like spaghetti bolognese and I'd taste the sauce and be like that tomato puree I'd be, no I'd be like that is that just like a, a jar of sauce eh? <laughs> <laughs> like no mate like with tomatoes and that I'd be like that, is that did you just and I was like ah, I can tell <laughs> mate, but, see, such a do you know how infuriating that would be like Raising a win. <laughs> no, I know. Mate, for like 27 years. Do you know, years, do you know like, like, I didn't even realise till I moved out how hard it is to, like, be doing washing, like, doing everything and then have to make dinner. <laughs> so, like, see, when I was in, like, in my flat and that, I'd be like, ah, I can't believe I used to, like, compl- like pure. Mm. Like, do you know, mate, it's sauce to start. <laughs> mate, I used to watch as well, like, I'm mad show and vice. It was, like, the pizza show. So, it was this, like, um, pizza chef in New York. It was, like, a kind of ball guy. I used to wear a hat. And he'd go around, like, he was, he'd go, go to, like, Naples. Ah, and fuck yeah. everywhere, right? Oh, my and pizza. Everywhere. Like, they would all say, obviously, they're talking about mozzarella, but they'd say mozzarella. Mozzarella. And I would just actually get that in my normal vocabulary. So, like, if I was taught, I'd be like, ah, aye, so I'm going to go to Shops. I need to get fucking... I need basso, I need mozzarella. I, need, I would actually start saying that, do you know what I mean? I like it, but that's how you should be there. Buffalo I, mozzarella. See, I still stick to, I say jar, uh, like jalapenos and that. Uh, I, try and, <laughs> I try and fuck the word up as much as possible. Aye, just to it. stick to my roots. No, I mean, I'm no one. Bring mean, it back down to earth. Mozzarella. I always do that on holiday. I'm like, where's a gelic breed? <laughs> <laughs> gelic breed? <laughs> mate, we took... We, mate, we gelic. took... We, <laughs> gelic breed. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we took my... We took my uncle, who was on a bit of a, he was like, you, you in high school, he's going to do a bad path, right? <laughs> but he, he had to be on holiday for like 20 years, and we took him to like Lanzarote ways, right? We're in this, ne- we're in La Quadra. Oh, bro. Mm-hmm. Right, so imagine Beautiful. we're in La Quadra, right? And he orders something, and the, like we're all ordering our meal, and the waiter goes to go away, and he's like, ah, excuse me, my man. And he turns around, he's like, ah, have you got uh, brown sauce? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, what? And my dad's like, it's all right, mate. <laughs> You're not getting brown sauce. <laughs> you wouldn't even get brown sauce in a good restaurant here. H-P. Well, it's bigger than brown sauce. That's up to your fancy restaurant. I, I, I know. You wouldn't even get t- Tam K out there, bro. No, man. Right, we'll go on to the next one. So, when I was younger, there was this guy, and we called him Pedo Scott. Nice. Because <laughs> his name was Scott, and he was about 20-odd when I was in primary seven, and he used to hang about with the primary sixes and a few of the weirdos in my ear. It was funny, because we, when me and my mates would see him, we would laugh and be like, no way, that's my Pedo Scott. And he'd always, without a doubt, be with a wee guy. Turns out he had something wrong with his brain where he had the mind of a 14-year-old, which at that, I don't even think that's an excuse because you ha- if you have the mind of a 14-year-old, why are you cutting about playing truth or dare with like eight to 10-year-olds? Aye, aye, like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Man's got a taste, mate. mate I, I, see, when I read that, I was like, that, that is the classic pedo. It's just like, but I've got the mind of it. Aye, aye. Mean? Mate, I get annoyed. I've, seen, I've actually seen a couple of videos of like the mad predator hunter cunts. Yeah, they're so good. But but the ones like they're going in and it's mad. Did you see the one of the guy and he's knee legs and he's disabled? Aye. And he's, he's blown to walk. He go forward not in a chair. How can you get raped after that guy? Leave man? him alone, fuck's sake. Leave him alone? Aye. Well, he's got it bad enough. <laughs> enough. I'm, I'm sure he's like the HR manager for... 
Pinterest or something. Is he? Somebody's, either somebody's just saying he looks like somebody who would be that, or he actually was. Mate. <laughs> Mate, how can you know the same? Mate, that? if he... <laughs> <laughs> he looks either like that's him. an absolute fact, or somebody's just saying he looks a bit like that. <laughs> Do you hang on, mate? He's been dealt that bad a hand. Give him a couple of hot 14 year old Give boys, mate. Guys to just, <laughs> as you say, mate, they're not going no go to be getting overpowered. You could just run like, away. He's probably just wanting to chase him about. <laughs> 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 I'm get, you know, I never gonna get it's them. A bit of fun. I seen one, mate. If the... he does catch one of them, was that you that said that? I, I mean, was that you, mate? Let, just run Did away. Did you take that? What? If he does catch one of them, let him have it or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's earned it. He's earned it. I always think that, I always think that, like, we come in here and we come in here and like, leave all our stuff in here and shut the shutters. And it's like, if somebody had to break in here and steal everything, I'm like, you worked for that, mate. Aye. Like, you just, if you can get these shutters up, we need fob to get it out. Like, Aye. take it, mate. You've mate. actually worked hard enough to just deserve it at that mate, point. if we were outside there and we had to get in to acquire a rain shit, we wouldn't be able to do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be able to do it. So if somebody's up for coming in here to get somebody else's shit, Aye. they really want that shit. <laughs> Imagine they see the shit and be like, there's something good in there. <laughs> I just know it. There's no chance we've got a shuttle down with no goodies in there. In the van, it's like 700 shuttles in Ohio. That one. Big go. <laughs> Metal detector are like That's what, like, Reese was in and he was like, oh, I'm going to get a safe for the camera and that. I was like, mate, fucking... This is one big safe. This is a huge... A room is just a big safe. Mate, the best pedo one I've seen recently, right? <laughs> the best pedo. <laughs> the best pedo I've seen recently is like, it's a guy, right? And I only seen his a TikTok to started for like the middle of it. And they're like, ah... Why you try? Why you try to get a twelve-year-old boy round your house? And he was like, ah. I was getting him round to tell him stop all this. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, and he's like, ah, I, I, I hate all that. And he says to the pedo hunters, C -c can I join you? Like, ah, fuck up! I was doing solo. <laughs> so, so. I was a lone ranger here. <laughs> so telling him to come round and play PlayStation <laughs> and that. Mate, mad pedo, mad pedo Scott. Pedo Scott's fucked. It's it. mad being a pedo at twenty, but. I was thinking, nah, no, he's only 20 and he's already known as Pedo Scott. <laughs> no, I mean, usually Pedo's need to wait till they're like 34 like, to get caught. That's no, an I mean, apprenticeship. <laughs> he's <laughs> already <laughs> doing the fucking like, the traineeship. Uh, right. He's getting there early. Right, so uh, Junkie Craigie, a Clydebank legend, used to play a permanent game of cat and mouse with his dog, screaming for it to come back, but he never caught it. I think that's a common one with Junkie. They're always looking for something, mate. Just walking about shouting. Always like, ah, wait. Tyson! Ah, uh, Tyson! <laughs> Never had a dog in his life, mate. mate that, that <laughs> <laughs> Never owned a dog. Just looking for any dog <laughs> named Tyson. I love a dog Kind of Tyson. different name every day, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> One day we'll get it. Mate, that just reminded me of when me and Joe were in Florida. See the junkies that walk about there shouting and bawling? That's different level, mate. Mind that. In, in Florida, mate, it's the mad satanic. It, it's crackheads, you know what I mean? The and crack that, will get you. And that's like they walk up and down and they're just shouting cunts' names and spinning around and going, I'm going fucking brutal. on! It's <laughs> actually so scary, mate. That's a bit like Tron Gate, mate. Tron Gate's reaching that. Uh, mate, see Tron it? Gate is. I seen two guys just sailing, must have been smack or something, but it was weird because it was a guy. It, what? I just got a mad, wild memory flashback at me. Carry see, on. So like, there was this couple who. They looked a bit rough, but they didn't. Need, they looked like they were going to a boozer or something, and they just walked round the back. See where Slater's is. Aye. So like, that's not really Tron get, I suppose. But aye. it's like glad you cross. Aye. Oh, I'm glad you <laughs> And they just walked round, and there was two of these mad stoters holding a JD bag, and they just pulled it open, gave them something, and they just walked away. And I was like, what the fuck? Just open drug deal? That's a mad thing to see. A heroin deal, mate. Like, I've I've seen plenty of drug deals. Aye. But never the brown stuff, mate. You just reminded me. See you that bit, right? See. As you're at Trongate, I was actually thinking about this. TJ Hughes is the evil twin of TK Man. <laughs> and it's for sure. The mad disappointment cousin. <laughs> yeah, and there's hundreds of them. Home Bargains is the evil twin of BM. Do you want to hear a pointless fact about that? Mm. Uh, TJ Hughes, or T TK Max is called TJ Max in America. Mm -hmm. And the only reason it's called that TK Max here is because of TJ Hughes. So oh. people don't get it mixed up. Uh -huh. Oh, Hughesy boy was in first. Hughesy. Fair dues. But see that bit of the tune where TJ Hughes is? There's a wee alley that goes to the mad uh, St. Ian car park or like the back of TJ Hughes and that. Own that alley when I was a wee guy. Me and Mick Foy, a few other boys. Mick boys skateboarding through the tune. They fell right there, which <laughs> was hilarious. But at the same time, we seen two fucking junkies, one sucking on our one's dick. <laughs> Swear to God, mate. Mate, full of smack, that must hit like crazy, oh, mate. A smack mate. blowjob. Just been full of smack and getting your bro, it's like your coat. <laughs> get, get your ass came in. <laughs> <laughs>
Forrest Mack. Oh, oh fuck. Well, mate, if it's Forrest Mack, I'd I do mean, it. get this done again, mate. That would be that. I bet that's Moorish, by the way. Aye. I bet you get right into oh. that. <laughs> No, I could do that again. Took it all out of there. <laughs> get any more in there? <laughs> right, next one. Some I really I, this isn't a big story, but I just love the name. Moody's Burn had a cunt called Chewing Gum Charlie, and oh. he used to just rob wee guys' bikes. <laughs> yes, mate, Chewing like Gum that. Charlie. Mate, robbing bikes was huge when I was younger. Aye. I ran about that time. I used to always get there used to be cunts. A boy once said that a boy, a, a, a mad junkie came up to him and said, do you want to buy this bike for a score? And it was his bike that he <laughs> 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 lost a week before. How funny is that, mate? Did he have to buy it back after? He had to buy it for a score, mate. Aye, it's a, a good going, deal. It's a going great. Yeah. He it? probably he bought it for about 180 quid. So he just got it back. He's he making just, money. He was just like, thank you, I don't need to get another bit. I got my bike back. That's what they call a return on investment. <laughs> <laughs> no one's agreement. <laughs> 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 uh, aye, I just love that, like that Chewing that, gum, Charlie. That's a good one. I wonder where, where they go to the chewing gum for just always chewing gum. I, I love the thought of him never even actually having chewing gum, but always being like, Charlie, you know what I've noticed about you? You've never, you never, you never have any chewing gum in. But I always, do. Always get chewing gum in. We can kick it the name. The chewing gum, Charlie. Who dare, dare you? Have you seen any bites? <laughs> you want a bite? You want a bite? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so this is for Joe for the Discord. Shout out to Joe, boy. Um, was this weird cunt at my school and he was always pestering lassies asking for them to go on cams and send them pic send him pictures etc ended up asking this absolute fucking nutter who didn't go to my school's wee sister she was nine and we were 14 15 one day the nutter is standing at the back gate shouted me over so obviously i'm shiting myself someone told him where I knew where the weird cunt lived because he stayed next to my cousin. So I, the boy, dragged me to show him where the weird cunt stayed, rattled his door, dragged the cunt out and kicked the shit out of him. And he wore those old school Adidas high tops with the metal logo across the strap, kicked his face in that hard he left an Adidas mark on the boy's face. Oh my God. But I, after that, the nutter was my pal. We used to smoke joints and folk were like, oh my God, how are you pals with him? Imagine kicking somebody that hard, there's an Adidas sign on his face. Brandon. Permanent, uh, permanent Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, I couldn't make that Mate. like a cow. That's crazy. That's actually it? what they do. I can imagine volleying a cunt in arse, on, on the arse that hard. <laughs> the imprint. <laughs> You're Night, the right logo. Night logo. <laughs> That's dominant. That might be mad hard than coming in somebody's arse. And he ended up chilling with him in that. Ended up being pally with him. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's a full circle tale. He's like, Aye. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. End mm -hmm. up pals forever. Huffing joints. <laughs> Aye, mate. That's how it's, it's done, a good mate. story, mate. That's how it's done. <laughs> um, oh, I'm reading that one in Patreon. <laughs> that is not... <laughs> Um, this is a classic move. So this is for Kerry in the Discord. Shout out to Kerry. Um, tried to get a jump in at beer and wine at Ruggie Main Street and the guy took the money and said, I'm just going to nip into the bookies for two minutes and never came back. <laughs> there's, a back there's a back door of that bookie, so he's obviously just boosted through that. Mate. That is it. Like, there's nothing worse than being a wee guy and getting robbed your jump in money. Oh, mate, Matt, would you ever do that? Too? Would you go? Would you get somebody a jump in if they asked you? The no. Note? Would you know? No. No, dude, you don't mean nothing to me. We mad wee guys. Oh, it's me when they facilitate the booze. For if the I knew the wee guys, if I, if it was like, oh, my wee cousin or something, like, aye. please, I would be like, aye. It's also like, these, these wee guys don't know the struggle either. They yeah. just don't. They've got like Uber Eats and all that. Aye. Yeah. But, but remember the story I told about we, me and Paige waiting for a jump, jump in all day and this older boy for halfway that we knew walked in and we're like, mate, we've been waiting all day, please, mate. And he was like, aye, aye all right. He walked in, go to our booze, we walked around the corner and he gave us it and he walked up the road two minutes, the CID pulled him and gave, gave him a grand fine. Aye, that's, that's what's put me half day in it because I'm like, nay wee guys jump in is worth a grand to Aye. me, mate, ever. I don't even think, does it exist, mate? Because see, like a Saturday I, I've, I think I've been asked maybe twice in my life for a jump in. And you've been to more shops on a Saturday morning than two. No, I mean, you've been doing the shops. I've been to hundreds of shops. <laughs> I feel like when I was a wee guy, there was at least about eight wee guys Waiting outside the shop, wanting a booze every single week. But maybe it's like what Joe's saying, like they've got other means to get it now. Like mm -hmm. they've they can order it. Like there'll be things on Uber. Like I, my cousin, like say like you're somebody's big cousin. Like I, you take the booze in for his after Uber driver. Aye, and that like right, they don't need right. to go to an actual shop. Aye, that's true. Actually, they don't need to go and wait in the rain, the hail. The they don't know the. You're right, mate. They mate, do not know that, the that we fucking can't out there. Used to order booze for Garden Gad Chippy. <laughs> <laughs> The gun guy chippy fucking drapped your booze half at points. There was always you, one. You just need to get a rolling chips or something. You can get in. You want chips? Yeah, chip, drinking a meal. Chips in twelve two hours. A strong one. Mate, do you remember <laughs> how? Like I remember. See when I was like younger, I mean, going to places 
the way like family or even pals not and on being like no, like, we'll just get on with, like, I'm not 16 and you can drink my meal when you're 16 and all that. Did you remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pure man. fine the loopholes in the lawn, that, <laughs> to try and get a fine. Mate, it's like that in the air, like, I, I feel like that, it was like that in the airport, like, getting, like, there was a mad law in the airport, like, like, so, like, see how, now kids kind of go in bars mm -hmm. and uh, sort of, in the outside world, <laughs> outside the airport, <laughs> in the real it. world, Aye. but in airports, you so obviously in international waters. Aye. 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 I was literally maritime law, mate. I was Aye. just about to say international waters, mate. Aye, so it's sure. free game. It's what? mad because airports they have all their own rules. Because like, if you, I think if you barter an air, like, see if you, see if you <laughs> cracked a, a an air hostess in the face, I'm sure you get like proper jail time. It's like to crack a pole. Like Twenty five years, no, like because it's a plane and it's like. That's terrorist shit. Crack a stewardess, mate. That's Magic. I don't know why it's a stewardess. <laughs> <laughs> Have a bit of respect. Uh, crack uh, a steward. A steward. <laughs> no, you mean you call him a steward? An air steward? An air, an, an air marshal? An air host. <laughs> Hoster. An air hostess. Aye. Aye, you crack one of them in the face and you're like a hundred G's down. Well, now, you're, you're, now you're saying a bit like international. What was it you said? International. Waters. Waters. Like. <laughs> so Wogs, he was telling me a story about he met these Norwegian cunts. Usual um, for wogs and I. <laughs> he was at uh, he was at some raven the dam or something, and he was telling me that it's so expensive to drink in Norway, right? That they just they rent a boat for the day, and then they they go out and they take hundreds of drugs on this boat mm -hmm. because it's like while they're in the water they can never be charged because you're maritime, you know, law. maritime <laughs> law, bro. <laughs> it's like, but then every time they come back, the polos just find them. But it's cheaper to do that than and get, get, fine. get drink on uh, in just Norway. It's weird. Aye, that's mad. Uh, he's that's, gonna come on, he can maybe explain it a bit better than that. That's a, who was it told you? Wogsy. Oh, Wogsy. Um, that's like a fucking, see the, I'm sure cunts get, see, see if you stay in Strunra or like some places in like Ayrshire or on the West Coast, I'm sure cunts get the boat to Belfast and back for a booze. Like, cause the, the pub shut at like 12 and they're like, right, we'll go and get the 11 o'clock fucking ferry out of Belfast. <laughs> just get it out, takes an hour and then back. And it's like, yeah. Aye, you, can, you can just booze on it. Continue the booze. Aye, because people say, like, because I've, I've never ever done it, but I hear about it. It's always like, see, whenever you hear like old Bammy cunts aye. going to Amsterdam. Aye, get a boat air. Get a boat air, okay. man, fucking man, because you don't want it. No. <laughs> Mate, we get the boat air and, um, we went and we went to Feyenoord on like a PE trip and we went and played in the stadium and all Oof. that. It was mad. No, I didn't for PE. Sorry, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't I just have PE lesson. PE lesson. No, we didn't. Sorry, didn't play in the stadium. We so we went over, but we got the boat to Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. for can I remember Newcastle. something like that? I and uh, mate, the other mate, that like, do you know what I always think about things like that? Especially cruises as well. I've been on a few cruise ships when I was younger. Mate, you can fall in love in the sea, mate. Oh. The sea is all like you're like, there's nowhere. It's cause nowhere it's wavy else. and that. It's, and like, all. it's like being in the jail almost. Like there's nothing <laughs> outside of this. It's like you're gonna fall for somebody. Mate, the implication. That's like, that's what I've had always. Sorry, hang on. Yes, you heard of that? <laughs> So do you know the character Dennis? Aye, aye. So Matt I know De all the aye, so Matt and Dennis are getting they're all getting a boat, but it's Matt and Dennis that they won like seventeen hundred quid, so they're like funding it and they're like, We've got some serious money to put in there. <laughs> so they're buying this mad shithole boat and then they're in the shop and they're like, Hi, so we'll get the mattress and we'll put that in the boat and flare and Max like why why are we getting a mattress? And he's like, The full reason that we're getting a boat is so that we can get girls on there <laughs> and they're not gonna say no because of the implication. And it does that, it's feel like, it's feel, it's feel like, obviously, he keeps saying that word, he's like, because of the implication. <laughs> he's like, you've said that word a few times now. He's like, they, they, no girls are going to get hurt, they're not going to get hurt, but they won't say no because of the implication. <laughs> That's it, mate, because there's no, like, the, the waters, mate, that's the scariest fucking place ever. See if, I, mate, see if an Italian guy invites me on his boat, right, and he gets me out in the waters and I've had a few shandies. <laughs> Mate, I'm not gonna say it. We've got to have an ass for a couple. <laughs> <laughs> right, next right. one. Next one. Um, this is for Ronnie McKay. Shout out to Ron. Oh, Ron yeah. Dog, millionaire, mate. <laughs> My boy. Um, we, mate, we had this cunt in Barmulloch who used to just wander the streets and the Venshi with his dog. And one day, some cunt found videos of him on YouTube pretending to be a wrestler. He would do a full WWE act on YouTube. He used to scream, You'll never take. Well, we used to scream, you'll never take my title at him when he walked past. He used to go off his nut <laughs> and he sent the video in for us. So, Joe, can we get the I'll, video up? I'll can you control it for you? 
Um, I've not watched. Mate, I've not what's, watched. The, what's the guy's name again? <laughs> I remember it if you've not got it there. I don't know. I don't. The I don't junkie called himself Bloodbath McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodbath McGrath. Oh, it's unreal. Right, wait there. <laughs> George, you edit us? Maybe you want to run a shot in my title, boy. You run. Me and you in a pop water match. That's the next pay per view. Me and you. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna split your head wide open, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. You're sick. I'm sicker than you, boy. I can beat ya. No. If you not, no, 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 you know. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't finish that if you don't know now you know, but Whoa, Whoa, why would you do that guys? He's made that! Come on, Bud McGrath, please subscribe later. Dude, there's nothing I want more on this planet than more Bud Blood Bath McGrath, mate. Wait, I wait. wonder if anybody did take the title. We are signed in to um, Rayleigh's gaff here, so I'll just chuck out we subscribe, right? To Blood Bath McGrath. Aye, right? see, aye. <laughs> There's a new guy in town. <laughs> I'd like to see more blood. Mate, that's doing my way. Ronnie went to my school. I've been pals with Ronnie for ages. Na- do you never heard of Blood Bath Blood McGrath, mate? Never once. There was a few in Bumalik, but there was another guy in Bumalik who's been a. He was like one of the one of the homeless guys that's like a bit chic. He's been there since like the seventies. My man knows about him, my granny and that. He's Every, a legend. And people like donate him clays and that. Mm. Like he's a mad legend and he just cuts about my mother. I've not seen him in years. He's probably pan breed if I'm being honest. But it was like now that way he had like his shoes would like have like a mad mouth and that. No, like, a mad don't talk, tramp. Talking to you. He wasn't he wasn't a junkie then, he was just an old school tramp Aye. that kicked about the gringo. So that's the only one I remember from him. And you need to watch because there's a fine line between an old school tramp and a junkie. Aye. The old school tramps get a bit of class. Big long jacket on, hole in <laughs> it there, no? A big army style jacket <laughs> on. A bit of bonnet on, somehow. Mate, there was a guy, we used to go to uh, Sweepers. That was like the bar that we could get at. You've been to Sweepers? I mean, oh, Sweepers. Sweepers was legendary, <laughs> mate. It's called, it's called Legends now or something. But we used to go down there. That was like the boozer you could get in if you were like 16, 17. Like you'd kind of get away. Some nights they'd be checking IDs, but most of the time it was cool. And it was just this mad guy he used to sit, he's that like khaki long jacket on he'd just sit and he'd just be boozing his cell but anytime people were doing patsies or that he'd, he'd come out but he'd, he'd be like you want a pat at Jim man he's now Jim you want a fucking patsy now? aye go on <laughs> aye imagine being like 16 doing patsies with like 17 year olds right aye, but man. he'd come out the back and, and we'd be doing them and he'd uh, we'd be like that right we'd like put it out in a card or a key for him he'd be like that and just fucking not gub it and he'd be like can he snort it in my fucking nose like his nose was done bro because it can you can like erode the fucking inside of your nose you can't like, that's you, horrible do you, you ever seen that septum or something aye do you not get a hole in there and shit that, but do you know Daniela Westbrook do you, have you ever seen it oh I've my god I've not seen God. it though is that I think it's, hor- it's scary looking t- torrendous bro. Bro. it's torrendous <laughs> it's the epitome of torrendous uh, right so next story there was one in Cumbernauld where the story goes there was a police called the Turbinator Ooh. who if you were bold enough to try and get a chase off him he would take his shoes off before chasing you <laughs> some would say he was the fastest man alive <laughs> This is men alive, they say. Imagine, <laughs> imagine like seeing up always, and he, was, he took his shoes off before chasing you. <laughs> mate, the grip. Aye, mate, I, he's I gone for it, mate. That's a fucking scary. That's a scary thing happened to you. Where was that up Cumbernauld? Cumbernauld. There's a lot of stories up up Cumbernauld. I can mate. imagine so, mate. Cumbernauld seems like a place for good stories like this. Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot. The there's, concrete jungle. We've mate. been sent a lot in. About, I don't really know what to say about him, but I'll give him a shout out. A boy called Chucky Ross, who's for like Ab- Abron Hill, is that how you say it? Abron Hill, aye. Uh, Auburn Hill, is it no? Oh, no, Abron Hill. Abron Hill. Um, and he said they used to, he, he got murdered outside the spa or something, right? Oh. But like, see the article about him? I googled him, people like Google him, mate, He's, he was half his fucking nut and mm. that, right? I googled him and it's like, a hang talking about him getting murdered, like pure... Uh, police are investigating a local murder of a young man in Abron Hill, Cumbernauld, right? But like, see how they'll put pictures of them? In the article, <laughs> it's all ones. It's, there's one he's, he's stoning, he's hoarding two choppers. And it says, it's a Snapchat story, it says chop chop, and he's stoning me two blades. Like, every picture's him looking like a mad menace, mate. I love shit like that, mate. I used to always think, see when, see when I was younger, I used to think like every picture I want, like I used to picture 
Marcel dying and that being the picture in the paper and that, uh, and every single one of them was like, I just looked at one of them. be the one, I mean, <laughs> Every single picture. Aye, mate. R.I.P. wee man it died. Needs to be a hard, it needs to be a hard picture, mate. Aye, you need to, to be. Use a picture you use like at your fifth birthday and that. Aye, no, no, that gay shit, mate. No, fuck all that. No, into that. No, no, no. <laughs> Troops, we've got an announcement. We are now offering a seven day free trial on our half B tier over at our Patreon. So that means you'll get access to the end of the episode. When you hear us switching over to Patreon at the end, that means you'll get access to all of those episodes. So why not give it a go? Seven day free trial. You can go right through our archive of every bonus Patreon episode we've done. We've even got a few episodes that are just bonus episodes that we chucked in for that tier at random times so you have so much to watch through give it a try it's one week you'll no be charged cancel it before the end if you don't want to be charged but it is it's three pounds a month so it's up to yourself obviously we've got our other tiers a blue flavor boy tier with that obviously you get all the extended episodes but you also get a bonus episode each month you get access to the discord server you get to ask questions for guests and us we've also got the on it till tuesday tier where you get two bonus episodes every month you also get early access to all the episodes and you get 10 percent off merch and then obviously you get everything else that we've mentioned previously and then our biggest tier the goat tier the daddies you get to request an episode it can be eaten really within reason unless you want us to like strip off um we can discuss a price about that uh, but for 20 pound a month you can request an episode it can be anything it can be a conspiracy theory a watch along anything you can think of you get 20 percent off merch plus everything mentioned in all the other tiers so yes get on it troops www.patreon.com forward slash riley's gaff Right, so next one. This is really, really short, but I, I think this is just amazing. I don't know why. So the guy says, not really a scheme legend, but there's an old guy that goes about Paisley all day talking about David Beckham. Lad's obsessed with him. <laughs> uh, yes, Imagine like mate. a mad junkie going about, God, I'm telling you, Beckham, <laughs> a player. Right, fella, I want. Like, <laughs> but that's like, the only thing he talks about. You know what I mean? Just like, sitting down at a bus stop. Oh, Beck's here. <laughs> I just try to get any conversation. Like, fit for us, <laughs> No, who's that player? Beckham. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to and say. And people, know what the thing is? People think, ah, oh, he's a model, he's this, this. People forget how good that player he was. She that left fit on the free kick. She, she for England, I mean, I didn't want to see them winning, but she did free. They were beautiful, so they free kick. <laughs> oh, mate, you watch, watch the Beckham documentary? Aye, mate, Bex is great documentary, mate. I love that. I love watching Do you, what do you think of Bex? I like a bit of Bex, mate. She's like, he's, he's quite autistic, isn't he? Um, I, I would say he's just, I think he's just no, there's no much to him. No. So it's like, but he's, it's weird because usually somebody like that will have a pure massive character. Right. But he's kind of like, yeah, no, I just want to, like. But he's but likeable. He's very, I, I like him. He's a likeable guy. And you know what? I, I, I could be wrong. I could have been swooshed by the Beckham documentary because it was by his production company that done it. Right. So, but I feel like he came across pure, still pure humble do you know what Aye. i mean but because there's a bit in it um victoria beckham's like oh like i just grew up normal and that and he comes in and he's like ah, what car did you go to school in and she's <laughs> like no but wasn't he like that and he's like just tell them what car you used to get dropped off to, in school with and he, she was like okay you know what wasn't he like an actual big uh -huh. one that she, he was like ah, just tell them she's like a Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> that, exactly. And Mate, he walks out. Getting trapped half in the Rolls Royce would be hard as nails, bro. I would hate that, bro. Would you? That's not a good thing for in school. You don't, I feel like in school, you want to, you, you need to blend into an extent. Like, you don't want to be the cunt rocking up in the Rolls Royce. I, I'm not thinking Victoria Beckham's gone to fucking All Saints Roman Catholic <laughs> Secondary School, but I mean, that would surely be a private school. Ah, I, so. I didn't realise how prevalent private schools were. Like how, do you know what? See, when I went to Australia, do you know I went to private school in Australia? So did Joseph. Um, which I, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I thought that was a normal was it school. Was posh, but? No, that, that's a normal school there, if you know what I mean. I think it's the same in America and all. Like it's quite normal. It's more common. But I, here it's like a class thing. Or there, you need to be a private school to be a Catholic school or something. It's like illegal if you're a public school. But here it's illegal to have a private religious school. So it's the other way about. Ah, right. Ooh, so te yeah. technically, if you go to like a, a Catholic school, you're going to a private school then? Aye. Aye, but then here it's like, the they opposite. need to be sort of non-denominal, is that the word? Aye, it's, it's funny that like here it's all about, <laughs> it's all about Catholic and Prodi schools, isn't it? Like, how mad's that? Like, That's the first question you get at. First, my first day in work, 
Boy Allen came up to me. Which school did you go to? Aye. That's it. And then it's like, it's so mad because that one question to somebody that didn't know about how fucking mental this part of the world is, like, that tells people so much about people. Aye, that, if, if you think that way, like, I would never be able to school, do you go to Kafkin? Aye, fuck. Who, ca- who fucking cares? <laughs> aye. Who gives a fuck? Aye, it's no, it's no a big deal. But then the connotations that are with that. Like, mm. I remember getting in, I remember getting in there and I get the, there's like a wee, it's like an, a, an electric forklift, but it's like a pallet truck, but you, so you don't, there's no a seat, but mm. it's like, elect, it's a forklift still. And I go, it's st- I was emptying a bin thing and it got stuck. Like there's one wheel in the middle of it and it got stuck and the wheel was like in the air so it couldn't spin. So the thing was aye, stuck. Aye, aye, aye. And I remember like, he'd asked me which school I went to then he came back and he's like, ah, ah, yeah, we did. You'll, uh, you'll be the talk of this fact. It was like my second day oh, in. Bro, and I was horrible. like, I hate this guy. <laughs> and I remember like, I, I love him now. He's a great guy. But I remember we were at a boy in my works engagement party. And I was like, ah, tell me, had a drink? And I was like, ah, mate, I fucking hated you when I first met you. And he was like, ah, I can't believe you'd say that. <laughs> I was like, mate, you fucking, like, he's one of these people, like, now they people you meet and they, there's no, like, I'm mad bedding in period with Aye. them. They're just them Aye. right away, like, pure intensely. Aye, 100%. But you grow to know what they're like and you're like, I just love the cunt. The other day in my work, mate, I was pure arguing with a cunt, right? And <laughs> it was like one of the fittles, but I was like, I was one of the things, he's one of the cunts, it's like, he would be sitting, bamming you up, and you'd be like, mate, f- you're fucking damn enough. And like, I say shit like that, and he goes, what's up with you, hey, you know, <laughs> laughing and that, mate. And now that way, I was like, mate, you're being a fucking prick. And I didn't feel like trying not to laugh, because he's feel bamming me up and that, but he's heavy like that, and he always says, he always goes, you're doing that the paddy way all the time. He's Aye. a pure, pure loves like he's a mad. And it, even the other day, seeing paddy that, way, seeing that, to say, but seeing that Friday, that I was arguing with him, right? I was like, ah. he's like, ah, you up tent this weekend, kid. And I was like, eh, hey, I did this and that. I was like, you? And he goes, ah, I've got a wee do on Saturday. And I was like, what can I do? And he's like, a sash bash, hey. <laughs> like he hey. just goes to sash bash, isn't it? That's hardcore. I, I, I quite respected that. I was like, you're just going to go and get steaming. Sing the sash, sing all these tunes, not up the road. Well, the boys, Chippy, up the road. Oh, mate, what a night! <laughs> mate, before, what a night. Mate, it's so funny the people you, you meet in your work. I remember I started in my work, and there was this boy I used to go and pick up, and he was a pure gearhead, right? Like, he was, he was bad for the gear, bad for the gear, he was bad for it, mate. <laughs> and uh, he used to mail me, like, oh, could you get a hot, like, he used to mail me at the weekend, but like that. Could you get a hoodie a bit? But he was one of these pure overly horny guys. You know what I mean? He's always like, ah, we bought it, we bought it, fuck it, fuck it. Like, <laughs> and uh, he was mailing me one night and he was pure, mate, see, I wish, I, I bet I could get these mails for somebody to see exactly what he was saying. But he was like, full of gear, right? And he was like, ah, go, th- he was talking to me. Oh, he used to pure, couldn't he get birds, but like eventually he was like, ah, we birds coming down the gaff this weekend. I was like, what he's doing? Like, I've got to get full of gear, full of booze, mate, fucking right, the right foot on that. And I was like, right, and he was mailing me, and I was being like, oh, did you get a bit in that? He was like, aye, bro, fucking banging. So I was, mate, fucking done a cut of patch already waiting on her coming down. And I was like, ah, aye, fucking, well, in, mate, or something. <laughs> and he's like, ah, sh- aye. We have been talking about shagging already, so just think when she uh, gets a couple of pats he's doing her, she will be fucking horny as fuck, bro, licking my balls and all that. I was like, mate, chill out, man. That's not like the... I wouldn't associate the two. What, being horny in five years? Uh-huh. No, that happens, bro. I, no, I, it does happen, but at the same time, going like, we've been talking about shagging, wait, she gets a pat, so that'll <laughs> wait. Be, the panties will be <laughs> up, man. That'll be I mean, it. That'll be it, mate. Licking my balls and that, as you say, that. It was pure, I was like, why are you talking to me about a bird licking your balls? Aye, that's gruesome, mate, stuff like that. Can Get I, your ass lit. But at the same time, I'd be a bit like, I'd be like, go on, go on further. Can, can I come? And put that down south, mate. Uh-huh. I've got a Italian guy, keeps uh-huh. trying to uh-huh. get on. I've got guy coming in, we're going to get five years, <laughs> just see what happens, mate. Funny to talk about shagging, wait <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Get full of gear, man. Fuck it. Uh, right, troops. We have. I've saved some. There's one I'm going to start off with, and I've been saying in a lot about this guy. It's a guy called Torchy for Dumbarton. Right. So that's the first one on the Patreon. So we're going to switch over to the Patreon now, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, Giza, we. If you're listening, Giza, we review on Spotify. It really helps us guys out. Just mm-hmm. two humble guys that don't come in arses, trying to make a living. Just trying to get. Push forward, mate. Just push forward. If you want to see the rest of the episode, the more bonus episodes, patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. We've got the free trial still going uh, on, the, on the tier that you can see the rest of the episode. So if you want to see the rest of this episode, sign up for the free trial, patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Oh, Riley's <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about that bird licking his balls there. Right. <laughs> see you later, Trout. Cheers. Cheers. What was that football player's name again? Black. Chleb. Chleb. <laughs> Chleb. <laughs>